been forever. What have you been up to in Paris then? I got engaged. <laughs> Hi, I'm Janet. You're watching the fan carpet, and we're here at Cinema for the premiere of Powder Room. What drew you to the role of Michelle? Yeah, Michelle is not very nice. She's kind of a bitch. She's pretty judgmental. Um, but really, she's insecure, and she just kind of, I suppose, puts on a front. So she makes people feel like she has this perfect life when she doesn't really. I play Saskia, who is younger sister to Chanel, who is played by Jamie Winston. Um, I live for the weekend, have a style of my own, I'm bright orange, um, she's great, she's great fun, great laugh, um, just wants to have a great time with their mates really. I play Paige in the film, I'm part of the group of girls, um, they tend to look down on Paige a little bit, Paula the boring one, she has a boyfriend, so what, so she likes to cook and eat, so what, I don't think she's quite boring, but uh, so she has a, a very interesting journey throughout the film, she decides to, I don't know, let loose and do some drugs for the first time and whoop, yeah, I'm not going to, you know, give it away. The soundtrack to the film, how was that? Amazing, yeah. Such an amazing experience for us. It's like a new rock, rock band to be have such an amazing chance to put our music out there. It's sick, it's so exciting. And how did you get involved with the film? Um, Jay came to see us at a gig and then she just really liked our music and thought she could work with us for a new film, so yeah. <laughs> Finance and produced with two other people, um, Powder Room. So I came across it when yeah. it was a play uh, entitled When Women Wear, uh, We, and um, it was a series of vignettes about characters that you might find in ladies' toilets. <laughs> and I thought it was hilarious. I was one of five blokes um, in the audience, 90% otherwise women, who were laughing their heads off. And I thought, you know, if we could get this type of reaction to a movie, um, we'd be in a good shape. So I took the play and the playwright. She turned it into a screenplay. We found the very talented MJ Delaney who worked on the script with Rachel and then we got these fabulous women together to portray all our mad characters. Did you do all the, the music for the film or? We, we've got our own original songs in it. So there's about seven of them in the film itself. And then all the other music we found through like our friends' bands or bands in London that are all in signs. And just really cool music basically that we like. So can you tell me what drew you to the role of Paige? The, the fact that um, the comedy element to it, the fact that she's quite straight-laced in the beginning and sticks to her beliefs and then from one decision of deciding to, you know, do a drug for the first time, it just spirals out of control and she ends up having this completely different experience and, and the comedy of that's involved in that is, you know, really interesting and challenging and loved it. This has been an amazing experience for you guys. Unbelievable. And now we're going to see our faces on a cinema screen. So we're really like, excited. It's bizarre. And uh, we're excited about our single Midnight Coco, which is coming out next week. What drew you to the role? Great script. Fantastic. And I think the fact that it was a play first made the script even stop, like the screenplay even stronger. Um, and the fact that it's all girls it was such a joy. Really great time on set. Really, really great. What was your best moment on set? <laughs> Like in the probably cupboard. twirling around the cup toilet cubicle with bras on my head. Everyone. That was rather fun. The favourite time of set? Well, I have to say, because um, they gave me these special contact lenses that made my pupils dilated, but I'm really, really blind. So I had to take out my prescription contact lenses and put in non-prescription contact lenses. So I was so blind. So all those bits in the film where I'm off my head, it's really because I can't see anyone. I bet that added to the effect then. <laughs> Actually, it's quite helpful because I could really let loose and do whatever I wanted because I couldn't see anyone looking at me. Experience like on set. Bizarre. <laughs> no, it was like it was a proper party. Like it was, it was just like it was really fun. All yeah. the actresses are really, really fun, and you know, naturally anyway, like Jamie and Sheridan and Kate and stuff like that. So it was cool, you know. And we felt really proud to be a part of it because we sort of like created all the music. So yeah, great. You're very excited to come and see it now. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. And what are you looking forward to most about the film? Um, I love new films with lots of women in it. Why not? Too many plays with all men in it. So yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. You replicated the same kind of emotion. We'll see, well, we'll see what happens when we open next week. Certainly, it's it's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and 
anyone who goes, I hope will enjoy. I can't see why they wouldn't. It's a messy girls' night out but with all of the, the, the nonsense that you know and truth and humour and pathos and laughs and tears that occur when um, things get a bit messy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's really fun, you know. So uh, I hope, uh, yeah, I hope we've done it proud and, and turned it into a you know a movie unto itself too. So like you set the atmosphere and working with the cast and the director? I've done, you know, quite a lot of jobs and, and sometimes you get quite nervous, you've got a lot to do, but I just never ever felt like I was working. You know, quite, it was, you know, a lot of fun, great bunch of girls, great act actresses, you know, really talented. It's just really fun, fun to play off each other. So is this is the first time you're going to be seeing the film? No. No? I, I'm third. 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 <laughs> third time. We're going to be miming along to all the words. Yeah, we know it. So what was the first experience like of seeing the film? Were you a bit nervous a bit? Yeah. 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 Seeing your face on a screen that big is just so weird. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. And you can't watch it objectively either because you sort of because you were there when yeah, part exactly. of it was getting filmed. Yeah. So you sort of think, yeah, it's quite hard to sort of gauge how it looks, but we think it's really cool. Yeah. I'm sure it was fantastic. It was really, really good. It was, um, you know, just really positive. Lots of girls hanging out, like supporting each other, having a good laugh, and um, it was just a really cool opportunity to be able to work with people that I've like admired as actresses for such a long time, and um, it was so much fun. And what was it like working with the director? MJ is fantastic. Like I loved working with her. Um, just like a very cool woman, like has really creative ideas. It was actually like after speaking to her that I was like, I definitely want to do the project because she's just so like innovative, really. Um, and you just completely trusted like what she, you know, what she thought on set, you know. So it was really she made you feel confident as an actress. Really good laugh. Yeah, it was fantastic. We had, it was a lot of waiting around as well when you're filming. So. It was great that we got on really well and you can have all that downtime and you just have a laugh really. And then trust a bit mad really but uh, so I kept my distance <laughs> but no it was fun it was fun it was yeah. good um, they all got on like a house of fire and still uh, still still do uh, they all hang out and party hard I'm sure tonight will be messy did it really replicate like a normal girls night out I think it does I think loads of girls are going to go in there and be like oh, that reminds me of my worst night out ever um, so I'm sure lots of people will relate to it because you do everyone has one of those disaster and like, disastrous nights that you just can't believe happen did it remind you of your worst night out ever? Definitely. I really like a proper girls' night out then. Yeah, loads. But especially when we filmed the club scenes, they had uh, real people yeah. that were, you know, that came down and had a real club night to them and had a DJ. And so we were filming in and around them. Yeah. So. <laughs> You've got a film coming out called Bell, isn't it? Yes, Bell's up next year. Yeah. Next year? Yeah. Can you give me a little bit of information about that? It's, a, it's it, Fox are releasing, Amara Sante has directed it, uh, it's a wonderful sort of Jane Austen, about a mixed race girl adopted into the aristocracy, true story based on, uh, on a woman who used to live um, at Kenwood House on Hampstead Heath in North London called Dido Bell, and the movie's called Bell, and uh, yeah, it's beautiful, lovely, lovely. So very different, but you really enjoyed working on it. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. No, it's uh, it turned out, yeah, couldn't be more different, but <laughs> but um, you know, each has their place, um, yeah. and uh, equally proud of it. So. Looking forward to that then, the reception. So much, so much, yeah. What do you think people are going to like most about the film? I don't know, no matter how blunt it is maybe, it is pretty blunt and uh, yeah. graphic and kind of crude and it's very funny, it's very funny so I hope you really enjoy it. You've got an album out soon. Yes. Yeah. When's that going to be? It's going to come out at the, the end of February. And yeah, we just finished finished it like a couple of weeks ago, mixing it. And we're really excited. Right. excited. So you're going to be taking a break now, a little bit of a rest. No. <laughs> no way. You then? Um, well, I'm releasing a Christmas EP, so I'm going to be doing a couple of Christmas shows in London in December, um, and then touring next year in Japan and Australia and a couple of other places I haven't been to yet with the record. Let's be.